So when you're ready to pull your big long plastic, um, number one, make sure you got a little hanging off both ends so you have the extra that you need. And then you're gonna tie ropes to it and just pull it over the old fashioned way. Easiest knot for this, just give it a real good friction knot. The more wraps the better, especially with a longer tarp. And once again, don't pull tarp in a blowing wind. Depending on the length of your greenhouse, you may want three, four, sometimes even five or six ropes attached down the length. So first thing you want to do is get it attached so that you're even. You want to make sure that you have plenty of tarp on all four corners. That can be a little bit of a hassle sometimes, especially when the wind's blowing. Um, then you're going to go through and put these short little tacks in. And what we'll do next is I'll get somebody across from me on the far other side of the greenhouse and we'll be pulling these out, playing tug war with each other and putting them back in and working our way down directly across from each other so that we can get this thing tensioned up real nice and tight. So once you've stretched over the top on both ends and we have it nice and tight that way, we're gonna work our way down the ends across from one another. That way, we equally tighten and we're gonna to try to follow these seams on our way down. We'll just cruise on down. Make sure that you're securing your uh, blackout end wall plastic inside of here to create that nice light baffle. So hopefully we have a fair amount of leftover little pieces of channel. We're going to take these pieces of channel, cut short little sticks out of them. We'll attach these pieces of channel to our roll up bars. Now that we have our channel attached to our roll up bar, we'll Use a little short piece of wiggle. Put it in the track. And we just want to make sure that we're nice and tight between our connection points. 